Hey guys, what's good? What's good? It's your boy Devin. Welcome to the D3 channel. Guys, um, we just got news not even an hour ago, 30 minutes ago, that Chadwick Bozeman, our King T'Challa, our James Brown, our Jackie Robinson has died um, from colon cancer. Um, you know, it was not, it was maybe a couple of months back that um, he did a video um, talking about um, this foundation that he's um, supporting and stuff. And everybody was concerned about how thin he looked and how sickly he looked. And we thought it was for a movie role and stuff like that or whatever, like, because he um, thought he was doing like the method acting thing. But no, it was because of this, um, his... Um, his page uh, just released a statement, and I'm going to read it to you guys. Um, it is with immeasurable grief that we confirm the passing of Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick, Chadwick was diagnosed with stage 3 cancer in 2016, guys. Four years battling, um, and it progressed to stage 4. Um, a true fighter, Chadwick pres um, preserved... Um, through it all and brought you many films um, you come to love from Marshall, The Five Bloods, August Wilson's Ma, Rainey's Black Bottom, and several more were all filmed during but and during and between countless surgeries and chemotherapy. It was an honor. Um, it was the honor of his career to bring King T'Challa to life in Black Panther. He died in his home with his wife and family by his side. The family thanks you all for your love and prayers and asks that you continue to respect their privacy through this difficult time. Like, guys, that is four years. Like, and it's, you know, it, it is, it's not a thing of, oh, I wish he should have told us or we should have knew about this, known about this and also like that. Because, you know, that's personal business. You know, it's kind of the... You know, in the same as, you know, um, when Freddie Mercury died, you know, it was, you know, nobody knew that he had, um, that he died of AIDS complication until the day that he did die. Actually, the day before that he confirmed, you know, that he had, you know, that he had the, you know, the, the disease, not disease, the, I guess the virus. And, um, you know, this it's his privacy and stuff like that, but th such a hard blow, guys. Um, I mean, when you, when you think about the impact on how Black Panther, you know, just was a culture shock to the world in a time that we needed it, in a time that it was, it was the perfect time. It came out in Black History Month, you know. I remember going um, going to the movie theater dressed up in, you know, just African garb and feeling proud of, you know, being black. And, you know, just it's not just it's not just about a black thing, but in a way it is about a black thing because, you know, it was just it was one of those things that it was just unprecedented to have a movie, you know, about a black character and a black cast and it make billions of dollars and just you know prove that you know you can create these black movies with black characters and you know have a black cast and they can rack up the money just as much as any other movie can and it was one of the first you know to do it to, I think it was uh, Marvel's first solo character to hit a billion um if I believe so but um and I, I got it to the side I collect comics, you know, Black Panther, T'Challa with his name on it, like this, yeah, at a 9-8, of course, you know, mint condition, just as Chadwick's, you know, acting career was, just Jim Mint, man, just perfect, I mean, he brought us so many black predominant strong characters from Thurgood Marshall, James Brown, Jackie Robinson, King T'Challa, and just much more, it's just it's so heartbreaking, like, you know, it, 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 it's one of those things where it's kind of just like, it's, 
it's such a culture shock because it's like the it's it's like equivalent to losing you know when we lost Michael Jackson when we lost Prince and Whitney Houston stuff like that. It's like you know they made these such these heavy impact and Chadwick Boseman just comes out of nowhere and just makes his impact with with these movies and these characters and bringing you know the world and you know little kids little black kids you know a king to the movies and just how that represents and stuff like that and it's just. It's so heartbreaking, man. Um, R.I.P. and rest in heaven to Chadwick Boseman. Um, died at 42 of colon cancer. Like that, like when you just, it's just mind blowing. Because when you just look at his movies, you would have never thought that he was battling colon cancer at stage three. That is, that is just crazy. And, it, and after countless tries to suppress it and, to stop it and it still went to stage four and it's man it's just crazy it's 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 just crazy like i i have nothing left to say but r.i.p to chasm bozeman prayers 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 and love and good energy to his family and his friends his colleagues you know just people that were around him and just loved him um and just thank you chadwick for bringing us such great joy in characters in cinema. It was a joy and honor and a privilege to watch you in theaters and movies and, you know, just R.I.P. to King. T like, I can't even say the words, man. It's just crazy. R.I.P. to King T'Challa, man.